Welcome back to the Healthy Lock Show. I'm your Locks Therapist today, coming back with a discussion about on a treatment for dandruff in your hair. Um, I had a subscriber that reached out to me and he he explained about uh, having dandruff in his hair. So um, I thought it'd be a great topic to discuss. Um, first and foremost, um, the dandruff does, uh, it can cause a lot of, it can slow your hair up from locking and it can slow down the growth. And the reason it can do that is because it has, um, you have salt and dirt and oil that causes residue and the residue through time can, can um, clog your hair shaft and it stops growth and prevents growth. And so, um, and it can cause it to be real itchy and it causes you to scratch. And so whenever the dandruff flares up, you know, sometimes it depends on how much uh, other people can actually look in your hair and actually see the dandruff. So we're going to talk about how to treat that dandruff. Side note, um, in order for you to have healthy locks, you must have a healthy scalp. Um, contrary to the belief that most people think that um, the dirtier your hair is, the faster it grows, and actually the more you clean your scalp, and put the uh, correct nutrients in your hair, it grows faster that way. Um, so we're gonna talk about that. So um, we're gonna, I'm gonna have, I have a, a uh, anti-dandruff uh, spray that we're gonna create. And inside that dandruff, anti-dandruff spray, um, you're gonna need a few things. First, you're gonna need a, a 20 ounce, water bottle um you're gonna add some water in of course and within that you want to add um some rosemary oil and tea tree oil these are two oil that's specifically for dandruff and what you're gonna do is we'll back up a little bit the rosemary oil you're gonna add 20 20 drops of the rosemary oil and what the rosemary oil does is it stimulates hair growth eliminates dandruff and it'll moisturize the scalp as well now remember that we want to treat the dandruff and you have to be able to get that growth so you want to add the uh, rosemary oil in it's 20 drops of uh, rosemary oil and you want about 20 drops or so of the tea tree oil and the tea tree oil, it helps purify the scalp and also adds moisture and it unblocks the clogged follicles. So what you're gonna do is anytime you have dandruff that flares up, that's when you wanna use this anti-dandruff um, uh, spray. You don't use the whole bottle at one time, it's just, it's just making enough to where a few times a week, you want to be able to spray through your hair. Um, and remember, you want to assess your hair a few times a week. Now, previously I talked about assessing your hair once a week, but with dandruff, you want to increase that. So, um, and you can just get, just get your hair, and wherever you see the dandruff, you apply it through the hair, and you can, moisture, you can uh, massage it to your scalp. Um, and you do this as much as needed. Um, so that you can treat the dandruff as it, as it comes. Um, and hopefully this works, um, it's known to work. Um, so we're gonna just find out more ways in the future to have healthy locks. So I really encourage my listeners, my followers, subscribers, and cetera, to reach out and keep coming in because you have good questions and comments and it's helping other subscribers uh, resolve their issues with their hair. Um, that's all I have for you today. This is Locks Therapist. Do not forget to follow me on Instagram at Locks Therapist and check out my Facebook at um, Healthy Locks One On One. And in order to look good, you gotta feel good. See y'all next week.